guys and welcome back to today's video. So I am crossing my fingers that this is focused because I've lost my remote again. I just don't know what I do with it, I really don't. Today I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to be more organised, how to get your shit together, how to get motivated and just be more successful. Honestly, a lot of these revolve around having a tidier space because personally I cannot work or do anything when my space is messy, when my like surroundings are cluttered, my mind is just a complete jumbled and mess. So I have my little notebook here with all the bits and bobs written down that I want to mention to you guys and let's just get into it. So tip number one, I know so many of you guys are going to be like, oh you sound like my mom, but honestly tidy your apartment or your room, wherever your space is, clean it. I could not function when my apartment is a mess. If my apartment's a mess, I just feel stressed out all day. It's not fun at all. Like. Having a tidy space for me is literally key. If my apartment is just cluttered and messy, I just can't get on with anything. I just physically cannot do it because I'm looking at like the coffee cup on my desk and I'm looking at like the ring from my coffee cup on my me on my desk and that might be a fault in my personality, but I just I just can't get on when it's a mess. <laughs> my next biggest tip is to have a planner. If you don't have a planner and you manage to live life without one, props to you because I honestly I don't know what I'd do without my planner, I don't know where I'd be, I wouldn't know when any of my meetings are, I just wouldn't know anything. <laughs> the planner that I use is this one, it is from Joe and Judy and it's so pretty, everything inside this is just perfect, there are like monthly schedules, weekly schedules, there are little slots in here for meetings. Um, where you can put like the topic in and what time it was at and who it was with and then like notes about the meeting which is perfect for me because I have it like written down here so when I'm responding to any emails regarding that meeting I have everything written down like the fee, uh, what's going on, when it's supposed to be posted, that type of stuff. Honestly planners are lifesavers. This one's got like a big note section at the back and little inspirational quotes throughout and it also has a yearly planner, monthly planners, it's got a budget planner in here. Honestly everything about this planner is perfect. The only thing that I would change is the currency. Mine, unfortunately, for the budget planner has euros instead of pounds, but it's pretty easy to just ignore the fact that it says euros and know that all your money's in pounds or dollars or whatever, wherever you're from. My next tip is to declutter. By no means am I a minimalist. I have way too many things to be a minimalist, but... So, I am by no means a hoarder, but I don't just keep things that I don't use. I think it's so silly to just have loads of stuff that you never touch and you never use. I keep things to a minimal, like Finn's toys for example, he doesn't need a hundred toys. He's got like five or six and he doesn't need a hundred. Like pens and pencils, I don't have loads of them, I don't have loads of shoes. I don't have loads of books, I don't have things that I don't use anymore. If I read a book and I know I'm never going to read it again, I give it to a friend or I give it to a charity shop, like you just, <laughs> there's no point hoarding, I hate when people hoard, just keep everything to a minimum, have what you need and a little bit extra and that's, that's my motto. My next biggest tip and this more applies to older people and that is manage your money and bills. Honestly, if I'm not on track of what's coming in and what's coming out and when, um, my bills are due, when like my internet's due, when my accounts tax is due, when uh, my rent's due, when my gas and electric is due. If I don't know that, it really stresses me out. And if I don't know what's coming in to cover that, that also really stresses me out. So I've been using this app called Clio. There are loads of different money saving apps, but this is my favorite one that I found. A lot of you guys ask what I use to keep track of my savings, and this is one that I use. It's literally the most simple thing ever. It's a Facebook Messenger app and you literally say to it like it's called Clio and I'll link it below if you guys want to check it out but it like tells you how much money you're spending on food and drinks, how much money you're spending on shopping, how much you're spending on bills, how much you're saving and then you can message it and be like hey Clio I want to save a thousand pounds this month and it'll give you a weekly budget so that you're able to do that and I just think it's really cool and really handy and it's my favourite money saving app at the moment. Something that I find really really important and contradicts everything in this video is to have a messy zone. I feel like there are those things in your house or your room or your apartment that just don't have a home. <laughs> like they just don't have anywhere to go. Like sellotape and scissors and plasters, like there's not a specific place for them to go. So I recommend having a messy zone. For me that is behind my sofa and one drawer in my kitchen. So behind my sofa I keep like my laundry rack for like when I've got wet clothing I hang it on there. I keep that behind there. I keep 
packages for videos, I keep tripods, I keep stabilizers for my camera, I keep my hoover, my carpet cleaner, just bits and bobs that I don't really use, like Chuck's toys, my little brother. He stops here quite often, but not often enough that they need to be out constantly, so I keep them behind the sofa. And I think having a messy zone where you can just keep bits and bobs that you don't use every single day is really, really important because everybody's got those bits that just everybody's got those bits that just don't have a specific home like my makeup can go in my makeup bag my shoes can go on the shoe rack like most things have a place but some odd bits and bobs just have no home <laughs> another super important thing for me is to plan ahead now i can be super super spontaneous like a brand can email me and be like hey you're going to london for three days for this event and i'll be like okay cool like they can drop it on me the day before someone can like call me in the morning like hey we're going to the beach and i'll be like okay sweet but for things that are important, like my work, family, seeing friends, that always kind of has to be scheduled ahead for me. Because of how busy I am, having time to see friends and family is so hard for me to organise. I just, it's so difficult for me for some reason. I just, I don't know. So whenever I want to plan things with my mom or my nan or having my brother and sister, that needs to be planned like a couple of weeks ahead of time. And for things like videos, I have my videos planned up until May, I'm pretty sure. And that includes any sponsored videos, any videos that are just kind of personal videos, requested videos, all that type of stuff is planned like three months ahead because I just like being an organised and knowing what is going on in my life. For that, I'll either use a paper planner or my planner on my iMac because it's big and huge and I can see it. And my last tip on how to be organised is use to-do lists. I have about 500 notebooks and I am constantly making to-do lists in them. I'm constantly doing it. Like I've got one right here, I've got one right here, I've got a billion in here, I've got loads on my phone and I like putting simple things on there like hoover, wash up, wash bin, um, wash my hair, like simple things that I know I'm going to do because it just makes you feel more accomplished and motivated when you're taking them off. Even if it's something simple like get the clothes out the washing machine, I like to write it down because one, I've got really bad memory and two, it makes you feel so motivated and like you're getting loads of shit done. So, to-do lists, they're fun, they make you feel great when you tick everything off. I swear to you, there is no better feeling in the world than looking at your to-do list and seeing every single item checked off. You can just rest peacefully for the rest of your life. So they are all my tips on how to be organised. If you guys have any more, be sure to leave them in the comment section. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. You guys have been asking for a video like this for so long, so yeah, let me know if you liked it. I love you so much, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.